Welcome back to my channel guys at Trey Fragrances and I'm back with another video. If y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe and turn on y'all post notifications because I will be posting more content for you guys. So in this video, I will be talking about, I will be battling these fragrances, which these are two springtime fragrances in my opinion. So I'm going to show y'all these fragrances and y'all let me know which one do y'all think is better in y'all opinion and y'all give me y'all input on these fragrances so first off we got prada ocean luna rosa so this right here definitely is a great springtime and summertime fragrance this fragrance right here definitely is citrusy fresh and it definitely pops off with the great lavender in this fragrance and I absolutely love this fragrance, y'all. This right here definitely will have you smelling manly, sexy, seductive, addictive. Trust me, you cannot go wrong with Prada, Ocean, Luna Rosa. Now, this next fragrance we got is definitely a great springtime and summer fragrance is Aqua Di Gio, Giorgio Armani Profondo. Now, this fragrance right here definitely is a citrusy sea mineral notes definitely manly it's mass appealing and it's definitely invigorating i love this fragrance great compliment getter from both of these fragrances and i pretty sure you know i know for sure that y'all are gonna love these fragrances so y'all let me know which fragrance do y'all think and um y'all opinion and y'all let me know which one y'all think better so we're gonna start off with Prada Ocean Luna Rosa. So we're gonna spray this on the test strip. We're gonna see what we can get. All right. Atomizer 10 out of 10, as y'all already know. Oh, okay. Definitely citrusy is fresh. You do get, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of giving me a hint of, like a hint of woodiness in there. Like a salt, like a sea salt type of smell. But not in a bad way. It's not bad, you know, at all. Trust me. This right here definitely smells good. You know, I would definitely wear this, you know, as an everyday fragrance. You definitely can wear this fragrance as an everyday fragrance. You know, it's not heavy, it's not overpowering or cloning, you know, to noses. This right here definitely lasts on your skin a long time. It will last on your skin eight plus hours. Projection is so good, y'all. So this right here definitely is a great compliment getter. I have got compliments literally the first day I bought it. I wear it. I have literally got like three compliments with this fragrance on. Trust me, this right here definitely is meant for the warmer weathers. Colder weathers, you may can pull it off too. You know, I think this, I haven't tried this in a, a, a colder seasons, but we're going to see how versatile this thing is. I will be trying it in the colder season soon, which, you know, we're heading to those warmer weather. So it might be a little minute, but this right here definitely is a great fragrance, guys. I promise you. It's so mass appealing, it's manly, it's sexy, it's addictive, and definitely is attractive. Now, the next fragrance we're going to get into is Aqua DGO by Giorgio Armani Profondo. So, we're going to spray this on a test strip. Let's see what we can get out of this. Ooh, okay. Right off the bat, citrusy, fresh, aromatic. You do get those sea mineral accords in there. And like I say, it does have a crisp, fresh, you know, sensual, you know, smell to this fragrance, which I think that it really pops off really good. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely crisp. It's fresh. Mm. You can definitely smell that lavender picking up in there. It's nothing like with that freshness and that lavender, 
it really just pops off with it. I'm not gonna lie. So you, in this fragrance, you definitely do get that fresh, that freshness and that lavender all throughout wearing this fragrance, which I love this fragrance, y'all. And this fragrance right here definitely lasts a long time, all day on your skin. I promise you. But maybe about, I would say about four hours, three hours, you know, it'll become a skin scent, but you still smell good, even though people may not smell you, but I doubt it. This fragrance right here, the projection on this thing is definitely is a beast. I love this fragrance, guys. And this right here is a great blind buy, and I'm pretty sure that y'all would love this fragrance. So this right here is definitely a great blind buy, in my opinion. So... We're going to get into the dry down of Prada Ocean Luna Rosa. So we're going to see. Okay. Definitely get a hint of powder, like a soft powderiness in there too. Mm, it's not strong. It's still light and soft. So. The dry down on this thing definitely is amazing, guys. I love it. You can definitely still smell that salty, that saltiness in there. You definitely still get like that bergamot, that freshness. And I do get a hint of lemon in there too. You know, but it's very crisp too. I like that. Which both of these fragrances are definitely great, crisp, freshness, cologne. I love this. So Without further ado, we're going to get into Aqua DGO or the dry down of this fragrance. Mm, okay. Definitely getting a little woodiness. I'm still smelling that crisp freshness, the citrusy, and that lavender. The lavender really not popping off, but it's still there. It's a little light, but you definitely still can smell it. This right here definitely smells amazing, y'all. I'm not going to lie. So the battle between these fragrances, I really don't know the winner, but I know I'm going to have to pick one if I had to choose which one that I would wear for the rest of my life and I only had to choose one. Ah, man. I would say... I would say Prada ocean luna rosa i'm not gonna lie i would say this i just love about this dry down definitely got a hint of powderiness with that salty scent in there it's fresh and it's definitely attractive and it's definitely manly is addictive i love it y'all so I would say Prada Ocean Luna Rosa is the winner of this battle. So y'all let me know which one y'all will wear. If y'all had to choose one, which one y'all think is better? Uh, Aqua DGO, Giorgio Armani Profondo, or Prada Ocean Luna Rosa, which these both fragrances are amazing. I'm pretty sure y'all will love these fragrances. So yeah, guys, that's the end of that video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these fragrances. If y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications because I will be posting my content. And I hope y'all out there feeling good, looking good, dressing good, and most importantly of all, smelling good. It's your boy Trey Fragrance, and I'm out.